Hello everybody and welcome to the first video in a series of tutorials that will showcase the power of the drug discovery platform Forecaster. My name is Mihai and I am a scientist and software developer at Molecular Forecaster. Today's tutorial will deal with rigid docking and as prerequisites we will need Forecaster which you can download at this link. As a note, Forecaster is free for academia. If you are part of an industrial company, you will need an industrial license. In addition to Forecaster, we will need a visualization software such as Pymol or BioVia Discovery Studio, a text editing software such as Notepad++, and a web browser such as Mozilla Firefox. In the interest of time, I won't be able to go through all the aspects of docking, so this tutorial will assume that you have at least some cursory knowledge of molecular docking. As recommended readings, I highly suggest you check out our series that talks about FITTED, the docking program in the Forecaster platform. There are eight papers within this series and each of them deals with a separate aspect of FITTED. An excellent review on different aspects of molecular docking is given here, as well as a practical guide to large-scale docking. Some key terms that I'll be using in this tutorial are rigid docking, self-docking, root mean square deviation, or RMSD, and a protein data bank, or PDB. After you have downloaded and installed Forecaster, you will see a shortcut on your desktop for the graphics user interface. So let's go ahead and open it. And once you've opened it, you can set your working directory by clicking on Browse. Since we're at the first video, we will set our working directory to video one rigid docking. You can also open the directory in your file explorer and you will see that for now it is empty. Since we're going to do rigid docking, uh, we will choose a preset workflow called docking small molecules to proteins. You can click on Start Forecasting and we will see different modules that have already been preset to run a successful docking campaign. The protein that we will work with today is the thymidine kinase of the herpex simplex virus. Its PDB code is 1E2K. You can directly download it from the PDB in the PDB format and save it into your working directory or you can write the PDB code here and then click on download PDB file. Once it's done, you'll see that the PDB file has been saved in your folder. There are a few modules in this workflow that we will not need for this specific tutorial. So we'll go ahead and exclude them. One of these is matchup which superposes different protein structures. So we'll exclude this as well as convert, which converts 2D structures to 3D structures. So we'll go ahead and exclude this as well. There are three main steps to running a docking experiment with fitted. First one is prepare. Prepare is a module that takes a PDB structure and prepares it for docking by adding hydrogens, checking that amino acid side chains are correctly set up, as well as fixing different naming issues. And you will see that the interface here is quite easy to understand. It's self-explanatory. We will only need one protein, one E2K. The all here represents the different chains. So if a protein has different chains, like 1E2K, 1E2K has two different chains, A and B, and I'll show you by opening the structure in a visualizer. So you can see here there are two different chains, A and B. We can hide one of them since we only need one for our docking purpose. And then we can identify the ligand, which is this one, TMC500, so that we have a good idea of what ligand we're trying to dock to our protein structure. Okay, 
So now that we have this, we can choose just chain A. Then we can set out an output file name. This can be whatever you want. I've set it to step one prepare. Um, and then what we can do is we can choose the residue that we, or the ligand that we want to dock. So we can load the PDB structure and you will see that it loads it in our native JMOL visualizer. And then we can locate our ligand, which is TMC A500. And then you can click on any atom of TMC 500 and then go to the forecaster tab here and click select ligand residues. And then you will see in the middle box here, this residue has been selected. And then you have to go and write the keyword um, to the keyword file. Now there are some instances in which your ligand is not properly set up from the PDB. So the hybridizations might be wrong coordination states might be wrong. So for this, we actually have a menu where you can force different hybridizations or force protonation or deprotonation for specific atoms within your system. So for example, if I wanted to change the hybridization state of this oxygen, this is a double bonded oxygen, I would go here to forecaster and then force one of these hybridizations. Once this is done, you can just exit JMO and then you will see here that the residue has been written. Then what we want to do is we want to optimize the hydrogens that we're adding to the protein file. By default, there are 10 iterations. You can choose as many or as few as you want. We highly recommend you use 10. We choose to keep the crystallographic water molecules. We can also add particle waters, but crystallographic water molecules are usually more accurate. And then as a macromolecule, this is a, a normal protein, so we just choose protein. We can also, depending on the type of protein, have metalloproteins, DNA, or RNAs. So then we go ahead and save this keyword. Once this is done, you will see a little check mark in this box, which means that the prepare box has been correctly set up. Then what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to prepare the ligand for docking. So in this particular tutorial, we're gonna do self docking, which means that we have to use the ligand, the native ligand, and then try to dock it back to the structure and see how well we perform. For this, we use SMART, which is a module within within Forecaster. And SMART will prepare and format the ligand to uh, in a way that fitted our docking program is used to um, is used to seeing. Usually, by default, you don't need to change any of the defaults here, and you can just click save. Um, again, you'll see a little checkbox once this is done. Then we go to process. Process takes the prepared protein file and creates all the necessary binding site files, interaction sites um, that will be used for scoring the doc poses. Um, and it will fill up the boxes based on the information you've input in prepare and smart so you can see here this is the protein that we want there's only one ligand we can put this as step two process protein and then we can give it a ligand cutoff so it will keep all the amino acids within the within the ligand cutoff uh, of seven action you again you can choose smaller i wouldn't go smaller than five you can choose 10 then you include more amino acids and then your docking might be slightly slower uh, and then we want to prepare it for docking to rigid protein once this is done you click save you have the little check mark and now we are ready to set up the final step within our docking which is fitted so for fitted we again just as for process 
um, the boxes have been autofilled based on the information you've input previously. So we have a protein file. Protein flexibility mode is set to automatic. If you only have one protein, it's automatically set to rigid, or you can choose to set it to rigid yourself. Water molecules should be the same type as you've used for prepare, so crystallographic. We're not doing any covalent docking in this tutorial. We have a ligand file which has to be smarted, otherwise fitted does not run. And then we want to evaluate RM the RMSD since we're doing self-docking. And we have one reference for the RMSD which is um, the smarted ligand. And we don't want to run it on multiple cores, one core will suffice, and then you can save the output file as you wish. Um, and then the binding site and interaction sites are automatically uh, set up based on the information from process. You can also go to the advanced mode. Um, you should only tinker with these settings if you know what you're doing. We can choose a higher or lower print level the print levels go from 1 to 3, 1 being the lowest and 3 being the highest. You can choose to print either all the poses, so each per run that you're doing, or only the best of all. We'll only do only the best of all for this tutorial. You can print an HTML file that presents all the information in a nice table. Um, you can choose whether to print the optimized structures or not. We'll just choose no for this tutorial. Uh, you can give it as many runs as you want. By default, it's three. Usually, when, whenever we do a large-scale docking and something crashes, you can restart a specific molecule. Um, and these are set by default, and I would highly recommend you don't change them as they have been optimized over uh, several several years and over several protein classes. So then we can go ahead and save the keyword file and then we can just run the workflow. So you will see here it starts running with prepare since this was the first box that we set up. Um, you have some information here about what's going on of what the status of prepare is and once this is once the hydrogens have been added and all the initial settings have been set up then you will start iterating um, and optimizing the positions of the hydrogens since we've chosen 10 iterations it will go through 10 different iterations and then at the end it will extract the ligand from the PDB. So while this is going on, um, I can show you the files that we have created in in our folder. So you can see all the parameters fi parameter files, and now we have the files that have just been created by Prepare. So this is a mol2 file with hydrogens added to a protein structure. So you will see here. It's very different from the original, which is just heavy atoms. And from this particular structure, Fitted will auto-select the binding site based on the ligand that we've just extracted. So once this is done, you'll see there's a bind site file created here. There's an interaction site file created here. And then there's a pro doc file created here. This is the actual file that fitted uses for docking so this is the binding site and now if we are to just take the ligand that was created that was taken out of the pdb structure and just copy it in this pro doc you will see that this is this is the confirmation within the the pdb so now when all of this is done fitted starts docking the molecule it creates a specific output file for the docking. And in here, you will have a results file that summarizes the results from the run. You'll have an SDF file where you will find your dock pose. You'll have an output file that collects all the information during docking, a log file that co collects errors, and an HTML file that outputs everything in a very nice 
um, in a very nice fashion. So you can open here and then you can check, for example, what files you're using for docking, what force field file, interaction sites, binding cavities, uh, what parameter file you're using, what library file, how many molecules there are. This HTML file uh, auto refreshes every 15 seconds. It's especially useful whenever you do large scale docking because then you get all sorts of uh, timings like average docking time per molecule, how much time you have remaining, and it updates once the first molecule is done. So docking is almost complete. We're at run three out of three. And once this is done, uh, I will show you how the HTML file looks like. I can also show you what sort of inter what sort of information we're collecting. So you can see all the active site residues that we're considering, all the files that we're using again, all the settings, the number of rotatable bonds of the ligand, how many binding modes have been produced, and what the energy, the RMSD, and then the rank score, and then the match score of this particular run is. And this is for every single run that we do. So once this is done, you will see the ending text, and then you can press any key for this to end. And if you look at the HTML, it will give you an, a summary of the docking run. So it took two minutes and 34 seconds for the entire job to run, for the entire docking job to run. Um, and these are the, um, the values that are obtained for the best docking score. So the RMSD is 0 0.49, which is excellent. And now what we can do is we can open the SDF file that has just been created. And you can see this is the doc pose. And what we can do is we can compare it to the original ligand, which is this one. We can change the color so that you can see that there are different there are different colors there are different compounds so you can see how well the two match in green we have the dog pose and then in normal um, normal colors we have the the crystal again so you can see there's an excellent match between the the dock poles and the ligand such a small rmsd of 0.49 basically tells us that fitted is performing very well at docking to this specific protein a self-docking study is more of a sanity check before you start your structure-based drug design project and you should always do this step if you have an available crystal structure with a co-crystallized ligand an RMSD larger than two suggests that perhaps the software that you're using is not particularly adept at docking to that protein target. And then you have to take different steps to um, do your structure-based drug design project. So this was all for this particular tutorial. In the next video, we'll cover flexible docking and in that particular video we'll also use matchup so you can see how this module works thank you very much for watching and any feedback for the future is highly appreciated thank you and have a great day